This video is a comprehensive guide with steps to troubleshoot and resolve the issues preventing WP Forms from sending email notifications to your designated email address. To get started, let's double check the email notification settings to ensure all corresponding information is filled in correctly. From your site's back end, hover over WP Forms to select All Forms. Then click Edit for the form you wish to fix. Once the form loads, navigate to the Settings tab to your left and select Notifications. Now ensure that the Send to Email address field is set to the correct email where you want to receive notifications, as a common mistake some of us make is leaving this set to the SmartTag admin email. This simply means that submissions made through this form will be sent to the admin email address, which can be found set as the administrator email address under General Settings. Returning to the form builder, while the next two fields are of no consequence in resolving this issue, it's still important you fill them out correctly to ensure clear communication, especially when distinguishing between submissions from different forms. Speaking of consequences, the from email plays the most crucial role among these fields, as indicated by the alert showing that the current address does not match your website's domain. So the best course of action is to update this to your site's business email, starting with a prefix along the lines of contact, support, admin, or info at your site's domain name.com. This ensures the email matches your domain, making it appear more legitimate to email service providers and improving deliverability. Now that we've resolved the error notice, let's proceed to save the changes, and our work here is done. Taking things further, let's close this and move on to the ultimate fix to the notification deliverability issue. Without getting too technical, we need to install and configure a mail SMTP plugin. The free plugin we'd be using features a setup wizard that simplifies the process of ensuring your emails are configured correctly. For context, SMTP, or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, is a reliable medium for sending emails directly from your website. With that in mind, let's proceed to add a new plugin. Search for WP Mail SMTP, install the first result by WP Forms, and activate it. Once activated, you will be redirected to the Setup Wizard. Start by clicking the Get Started button to initiate the process. In the next step, you will be prompted to select an SMTP mailer from the available option. To streamline this configuration process, I'd need you to scroll to the bottom of this page and select the last option labeled Other SMTP, then click Save and Continue to Proceed. At this point, you'll need to provide specific details for your professional business email address, starting with the SMTP host, down to its username and password. Before we can get these information, we first need to create a domain-based email address within your hosting account. So I ask for your patience here, considering this process varies depending on your web hosting provider. Since I can't cover the email creation process for every web host, I recommend two options. Number one, search for a tutorial here on YouTube specific to your hosting provider or you can reach out to your web host's customer support via live chat, ticket, or email to guide you through the email creation steps. Since this website is hosted with Hostinger, I'd log into my account and navigate to emails. Once the page loads, click Manage and follow the prompts to create a new email account. Next, I'd choose a prefix for the email address that completes my domain name, followed by setting a secure password. Make sure to note this down as we'll be needing it shortly within the SMTP setup wizard. Once everything is set, proceed with creating your new email address. Now return to the SMTP setup wizard. Scroll down to the authentication section and enter the business email address you just created along with the password. To get the required SMTP information, I'd skip this step to access Hostinger's email interface. From there, Navigate to Connect Apps and Devices, and when we scroll down a bit, we should find the SMTP details right here. First, I'd copy this, then return to the Setup Wizard and paste it into the SMTP host field. Regarding encryption, TLS happens to be the most secure protocol for email communication. However, it can sometimes cause authentication errors. But if your web hosting supports both TLS and SSL, like Hostinger does, I recommend selecting SSL with AutoTLS enabled for a smoother authentication process. But, if you experience an error at the end of this configuration process, you may need to return here and disable the AutoTLS option. Back to Hostinger, the recommended SMTP port number is 465, so let's make sure that corresponds with the number here. 
and then scroll down to the bottom of this page. Ensure that the email address in this field is updated to the domain-based business email address we created earlier. Make sure this is toggled on and proceed to click Save and Continue. Since we're using the light version of this plugin, there's no need to enter a license key. Simply scroll to the bottom to skip this step, and the plugin should start running background tests to verify that everything is set up correctly. If you've done everything right, you should get a congratulatory message for a successful setup. Now let's test the configuration by sending a test email to our designated email address. To do this, scroll to the bottom of the page and click the Send a Test Email button. Enter your email address in the provided field, then click Send Email. I can then open my Gmail account to confirm that the test email was successfully delivered. Before we wrap things up, let's go to the page with the contact form and fill out the required fields. Knowing this is where my emails would be delivered, I can proceed to send the message and confirm that the form submission was sent and received. Say for instance, you find the message in your spam folder, open it, and click the Report Not Spam button. This action should move the email to the inbox and ensure that subsequent submissions are not marked as spam. Head to your inbox and locate the email with the form submission. Click the three dots icon that reads More and select the option to mark all incoming emails from our website as important. And that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.